She's stuck at work. See ya, boy. See ya, bud. He hates it. Oh, I'm leaving. I know my leg's getting better. I know it. But it's just taking so long. In the meantime, I'm getting slower. I'm getting a bit fatter. When I wave, my arm keeps jiggling. It's just... It's getting to me. So, I've been keeping up with everything that Tom told me to do from a week ago. The band work, the stretching, the foam rollering, the spiky ball, doing a bit of cycling every day until I get pain in my knee. I've started jogging, side note. Um, I <laughs> strained my Achilles heel from jogging about four days in a row. But I really think that's the domino that's helping progress along the most. It's just getting heaps of blood flow down in my knee and uh, it's gotten better since I've started jogging. So, what next, Tom? What are you gonna do? Hey, what a surprise. Still, 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 still plans for me. Perfect timing. It's so funny seeing you do housekeeping though. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gonna do itself, that's it's for sure. Since, since last week, yeah. definitely definitely positives. There have been improvements. When I've tried to ride my bike, I literally last four or five minutes. And yeah, I don't know what yeah. happens, but yeah. it just like this, this pain just increases until the point where I'm like, I can't ride anymore. Why is this happening? Today, we're gonna do a bit of a, a fresh assessment, okay? See if anything looks different. After having that little bit of a change, you can take that off. See if you can break the five minute threshold. <laughs> Quads don't activate as much at the end of the motion. Yeah, so especially right at the end, they just get a little bit lazy. You was a little bit lazy last time, which is why I went through those um, inner range quad extensions through the bends, and that looked really good. I'm quite happy with that. So you're getting good quad activation. Now, is there anything other than the cycling that you found in the last week? that you know for sure makes it better. Yeah, if you told me to just go for a sprint up and down the hill or down some stairs, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm trying to make it worse. <laughs> so walk up and then you walk back down again. Cool. Let's see if you're feeling anything on the way back down. It's funny because the Achilles is the thing that's hurting the most. <laughs> huh, that's actually pretty good. All right, on the bike. <laughs> if you had to point with one finger, yeah, you point like that. Right. It's like it's like it's quite superficial, but doesn't feel like it's super deep. No, it does not feel super deep. If you were off now for a minute and you jump back on, it would still be sore? Initially it wouldn't be as sore and then after a minute it'll build up yeah. again. Yeah. Alright. So it was spot. So bring your feet out a little bit more. So I want your tibial angle to be actually in this direction rather than back. So bring your feet forward a little bit more again. Assessing here whether or not there's a tendon component to it as well. Okay which would explain why it's got this weird mixed presentation. But it's not a clear tendon, like if you're in a technical tendon, it'll be sore in the morning and it warms up and it's better when you ride and then it's sore again afterwards. So it's not a classic presentation. Yeah, settle down. Cool. Now we're going to jump back on the bike. We're going to ride it, we just rode it for about a minute last time. Yep. You're going to simply just do a bit of the same, better or worse. It's... I'm going to say it's about the same. About the same? Yeah. 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 And still sharp. It's a bit more dollar. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. And is it different in a different cycle range? So is it more at the top or at the bottom or just the same? Okay, the, the reason why it's been tricky is I think you do have an atypical tendon irritation with the cartilage. So essentially you have two things going on. Yeah. Which is why it's just not responding to one type trick. Got it. Okay. Um, and which is why in some ranges it's good and in some ranges it's not. And then it takes a little while for it to be sore like it's sore next day. Yeah. Okay. So with that in mind, I'm just going to give you two part trip. So you're going to incorporate some wall squat holds. Yep. Um, but we're going to do it less aggressively than we just did. So come back to the wall. It's so lopsided. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. That later, man. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, it's good. All right. Yeah. So rather than going down a ninety like we did before, we're only going to go down like forty-five. Yep. Okay. okay. So show that to me. You still want to make sure that your shins are pointing that way a little bit, so they're not kind of back here. Yep. Okay. Right. That's what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Not so deep. Not so deep. Oh, not so deep. And just oh, just, oh, just hold. Yeah, just yeah. hold. And you're going to continue to try to push your feet out across the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. You should feel it through here. You might feel it a little bit in your knee. I can feel it a bit now. In the yeah. Knee. Yeah. Okay. So if ten was the worst pain you could ever imagine, and zero is no pain at all, it's sitting on like a two or three. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm happy for you to go up to a four. Okay. So the goal is that we're going to do 30 seconds on, one minute off. 30 seconds on, one minute off. I'll write that down for you. Mm -hmm. But 
You only you're gonna do less than thirty seconds if your pain goes above a four. Otherwise, way, if it's fast, you get better. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, it's, it's only three now. Stretch down here. Go a little bit lower. So this way, it's kind of self-progressing because as you, you can have a rest. Um, because as you're doing it, if you're improving, then you can go lower. Mm. But also, it's going to take into account that if you try to do a ride and the ride makes it a little bit irritated, you can still do the exercise, mm. but you're just going to not go as deep. Yep. Because that way, we're having a similar amount of load day to day. Yep. So if you do a ride, it's not like, oh, well, I won't do the exercises because they're sore, but yeah. you can still do it, you just do it less. Yeah. Or if you just ignored yeah. it and still did it anyway, you have the ride plus the exercises and um, you'll be way up here. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, on a day that you don't ride, you can do the exercises harder, so you're having a similar load every day across the tendon. Ah, uh, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay. So that's the tendon. So your kneecap is actually within a tendon, mm -hmm. okay? So I think that's the reason why it's kind of moving around a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. So I think you've just got the tendon that's coming down, you've got some irritation there, as well as that cartilage issue. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's, just, makes it's sense. an unhappy thing. Yeah, it's annoying. Because <laughs> it feels happy most of the time, and then just with certain things, it's like, oh, well, that's weird. Yeah, exactly. yeah that's I'm weird. super happy though that it can tolerate a bit of running. Yeah, now it's all staged, but <laughs> I think. <laughs> so, what so. Have we got, Tom? What do we got? So, your patella tendon is a little bit irritated. So, yeah. you're getting a bit of patella tendon irritation, which is why the pain is kind of jumping from around here to down here. Mm -hmm. But that is on top of a bit of cartilage irritation, which is actually underneath the kneecap. Yeah. So, we figured out the cartilage irritation last time. That's starting to improve. We're getting better quads activation than last time as well. But essentially, there's two small problems, which together are really annoying. So. To put it simple, he's a bit of a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it that way, yeah. he's gonna mount up, he's just gonna push through, mate. <laughs> yeah. Just push on, just lean on the pedals. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, so it's moving, hey. Yeah. More reps. Yes, yeah, so when you're on the bike, a little bit more of the superior pole. Like yeah, it was around here, and now it's kind of down here a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Would it ever be worth getting any um, imaging done? That's what I'm wondering. Um, at the moment, no. Yeah. Because it's going in the right direction now. Um, and because we kind of, it's it's not very good to do imaging to find out what's going on because. You could have a hundred people that are over the age of 30 that have never had an issue ever with their knee and if you put them through an MRI, it could come back with findings. Like meniscal tears and full thickness chondral wear and other things, even though they've never had pain in their life, right? Yeah. So if we send you for an MRI, for example, and it comes back with something, we can't really be sure that that's the thing that's giving you pain. Yeah. Right? Okay. Unless... If it's the other way around, where you know from the last consultation, I was like, I think you've got your cartilage irritation. I don't think there's a tear so because you'd be getting catching, you don't really get catching. Then and then we sent you for an MRI, and then it came back with a full thickness chondral flap, which is fucked over, which would give you catching. Yeah. Then we'd be like, all right, I can be pretty damn sure that if you go get surgery for that, yeah. For imaging, we've got to be pretty damn sure about what it is already. Yeah. And all we're doing is trying to confirm our yeah. hypothesis. Yeah. 